My name is Dr. Savannah Howes and this is Wild Rose Vet Tips. And today I'm going to talk to you about marijuana intoxication in dogs. With the legalization of marijuana in Canada, uh, products that contain marijuana and THC are much more common in the household. Uh, with uh, an increased number of these types of products around, the opportunity for intoxication of our pets is also more likely. The important thing is you want to keep all of these products away from your pets. Dogs do not respond to marijuana the same way that people do and they can have a number of effects. If your pet does consume marijuana, some of the signs that you will see will be a very drunken walk, so they're very off balance. And you will also see leaking urine. They will also appear to kind of space out and then snap back to attention. So that's really, really common what I'll see. Other more serious side effects can include heart arrhythmias, uh, body temperature changes, as well as comatosis. So they can actually go unconscious if it's a high enough dose. I mean, if they're getting into an edible that has chocolate in it, you've got multiple problems at that point. Some of them might be sugar-free and contain xylitol, and that's another toxin they can have. One of the most common things I will see is dogs will actually get into what are called roaches. And so these are the leftover little ends of marijuana cigarettes and I find that that's really commonly what happens because they will be carelessly discarded. So we want to avoid uh, exposing our pets to these toxins. So you want to make sure that they are safely stored and kept away from pets as well as kids. If your pet has gotten into marijuana, if you know that they've gotten into it or you're not sure and your dog's acting off, definitely call your veterinarian this is considered a medical emergency. They need to be evaluated by your veterinarian. We need to listen to their heart, potentially um, check the rhythm of the heart. We need to check their body temperature. We need to make sure they're able to swallow and that they're not having problems that way. We also want to decontaminate. And so that usually means your veterinarian will have the dog vomit and bring up what they ate and give them activated charcoal to bind up the marijuana so that it doesn't keep recirculating in the system. It's something that I see fairly regularly um, and it's something to be aware of and to make sure that you keep your edibles stored away, keep your cigarettes up and away from them and dispose of them appropriately afterwards. I'm Dr. Savannah Howes and this has been Wild Rose Vet Tips.